All right, guys, AKRC guy here uh, doing the build review on the 3DR Y6. For the most part, the build is pretty straightforward. There's only a handful of steps to get this thing assembled. Uh, here you see me assembling the motors on the arms. One thing the uh, manual says is to thread the cables from the top motors and bottom motors through the ends of the arms. And I want you to take note of this picture right here, and you'll see that big hole in the side of the arm. I did not use that arm, and I didn't uh, look at the website until after I got my arms all assembled and the cables routed through the inside. But you may want to route at least one set of them through the side. Uh, this way, if you do have an accident and you tip your quad over or land on, the, on an arm, you're not going to chop those wires off. Again, now here on the frame, uh, pretty straightforward. Follow the directions, put the spacers where they go. You do want to take note of the top and bottom plate. There are some different slots, and there is a correct orientation to those, so make sure you do that correctly. The other thing is the bolts that hold the arms on. The inner bolts uh, will be actually facing upwards because that's where your top deck is going to mount to. So you want to keep that in mind. You'll see in that picture there my black arm, the rear arm, the bolts are actually facing down. I ended up having to fix that later, but... Make sure those inner bolts are face up and they're longer because your top deck is going to sit on top of those bolts. Yeah, this is where it gets interesting. Where do you put all that stuff? And you may also note that I, even though I'm using a 2.6 APM, I'm using a top pin model and not a side pin model. So that can be a little tough to get those connectors in there uh, when they're facing upward. Which brings up the next issue. Uh, 3DR provides four little foam sticky pads to stick your APM to the uh, Y6 copter. And they're so soft and flexible and of course they do that for vibration, but they are so soft and flexible that any resistance from those cabling uh, tends to make the APM tilt to one side or another. I think uh, 3DR needs to come up with a little bit better way to mount these APMs to their copters. Here's a quick size comparison of the Y6 compared to a Phantom. I'd say the Phantom is about a 450 size, and the Y6 is more of like a 650 size, so there you have it for size comparison. 